Hi, my name's Kathy, and I'm here today to show you some fun art activities. Um, what we're going to do today is called a rubbing. Let's say spell it. And rubbings are made by taking some object and creating textures from it. Um, in this case, I've just got this beautiful Japanese fern. I'm placing it backside up onto a piece of paper. The reason I'm putting it back side up is because the textures are stronger on the back. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use a piece of white paper and a regular old crayon and I'm going to push down and it's sort of like magic in a way because all of a sudden from nowhere appears this beautiful textured fern. Did you see that? Look at that. Gorgeous. You can also use other colors of crayon, like for instance, I'm going to take a blue crayon now and on the side of it, as you can see, I'm not using the tip of it, I just peeled off the paper on the crayon and now I'm going to do this gorgeous blue rubbing and now I'm going to make a new color. I'm going to take some yellow and see what happens. And you want to be careful not to let the uh, paper move or the leaf move because that way you'll just have a real strong image. But there's a pretty green by mixing blue and yellow. How neat. So that's the fern. And you can also make an orange by mixing red and yellow. You can make all kinds of new colors for your fun family activities. Another kind of leaf that I really love is the nasturtium leaf. It's this pretty little circular leaf. Uh, once again, we want to use the back of the back. Of and you the can find leaf. these leaves at like the park or in your backyard. In your backyard. So I've got the back side up. Place this on. Let it get flat. It should be uh, an object that's somewhat flat. You wouldn't want to put a big fancy rose. It would be hard to do a rubbing of a rose, for instance. But this, that's pretty thing. Isn't that great? All the little veins show. I'm gonna do some going the other way. I didn't even move the nasturtiums. And suddenly I've, I've quickly gotten a really pretty design of the nasturtiums. I did one yesterday too. Ooh. Looks like a bunch of interesting balloons flying around. So nasturtiums are another neat object. This is a pinko leaf, which looks like a fan, and it's got wonderful little texture on it. And I'm going to see what happens when I put one of these on the back side. Okay, blue, blue. Beautiful shape. I'm going to throw some yellow over it. And you can see all those little lines in, in the textures of it. Wow. And I did one the other day, too, on green paper. Sometimes just using a different color of paper can make it pretty exciting too. Now there's other things. For instance, I go to Starbucks every now and then. On the inside of the Starbucks cup is a wonderful piece of corrugated cardboard that I cut up into the shape of a little figure. Place that figure on there. And look at what you got real quickly. You have a neat little guy. You could have these people dancing with each other. You could place one on right side up, the next one upside down, and just make a fun little design. They so almost look like doves. You could do, yes, yes. They have that abstract look to them. So um, here's, here's three guys very quickly done with the rubbings. And this was one that was done, looks like they're staying alive. I know you don't know what that means, but Staying Alive was a song that was popular and a man would do a dance like this. All right, I also have some pretty little lace. Now, some things you want to make sure that mom knows all about. This could be a family heirloom or something, so you do not want that to happen. But this little piece of lace, I place it onto the paper. I already got some pretty blues, yellows, and reds. So another fun thing I've always liked to do is do rubbings of coins, like quarters, nickels, and dimes. You can make your own currency. Don't try to spend it, though. It isn't going to work too well. But <laughs> see this. 
You could add markers to it later on, make it into a whole special bunch of interesting color arrangements. So I want to thank you for being here with me today. Use your imagination. Use different kinds of paper. Use different kinds of objects that you find around and have fun. Thank you for joining me.